welcome back to the torque test channel. You guys really liked our extension length versus power loss and hose diameter versus power loss for science videos. And in that air hose video, we promised we would take a look at how air fittings and couplers affected power on your impact wrench at some point. Well, today we have a host of air swivels, basically because we're most curious about those first. And if there isn't a difference here with these size and design changes on an impact, then there likely won't be a huge one with simply air fittings. So today we're going to dyno each of these air swivels on our normal impact wrench from this series, then take the best and worst performers and strap them onto our highest performing, most air consuming gun, the Thor, and see if things go from bad to worse. That will include this Bostitch BTFP72333, which was $4.84 and seems to be the best selling model on Amazon. It's an M style industrial type quarter inch NPT fitting. It's got thread sealing on it from the factory too. We like that. Then we got Harbor Freight's version of this part from their Merlin line, part number 63542. Appears to be the same as the Boss Ditch, same M industrial type fitting, but a different color and no thread sealer. This was $3.29. Stepping up in size, spec, and price is the Flexilla High Flow model A53440FZBS. Jeez, these manufacturers and their model numbers. This is their 30 degree high flow ball swivel that they appear to use the same design for on their ball swivel whip hoses as well, which we recommend for any extended impact or air hammer use on a line as couplers, especially aluminum ones, are not made for use standing right off against the tool. Unlike the others, this one advertises maximum torque for being a high flow design. So we'll be happy to see if that today rings true. It uses this Milton V style sort of fitting on the end with large internal bore inside of this huge body. But why is that body so big? Well, as you angle the dangle sort of, the air passageway entrance inside the tool gets pointed into a new direction and sort of can be cut off by that internal diameter or opening. You can see on a smaller fitting, that opening is a little easier to keep revealed. And on a larger internal diameter high flow design like this Flexilla, that hole is more easily obstructed, meaning a much larger internal passageway was needed. The Flexilla advertises 30 degrees of extra freedom, and honestly, all these swivels pretty much match the same angle despite Merlin's claim of 45 degrees. What doesn't match and offers something a bit more is the double air swivel. This allows for near 360 degree angle movement, it will eventually run into your own tool, and 360 degrees of rotation offering a lot more freedom in a wheel well or wherever you're confined. You can find these at really Harbor Freight online on a tool truck in a fancy color, but they're all basically the same design and size from our research. Some just leak and better ones don't. On these, you can use whatever fitting you currently want to use, which means in this case, we can use the Milton V-style high flow fittings we normally use. Unlike the first two brands where that fitting type is sort of fixed in what you're buying. Let's get into the testing. First up, we have the Mako MT2769 base run for our 10 second max reverse torque run. Around six months ago, this model made 594 in this test. Let's see how she's doing after well over 50 tests on this dyno. That's 588, not too shabby. When testing these air swivels, our offhand will be holding them at their max angle to use them as they were sort of designed for. Our first air swivel up today is the Bostitch pretty much the most common air swivel you'll find in someone's garage at home. Here's its 10 second max run versus the baseline 588. So 544, that's about a seven to 8% loss. Seeing some gap when the bolt is not super tight, but when things get tough, seeing that gap widen a lot. Up next is the Harbor Freight Merlin, coming in with a similar design and dimensions, but only $3.29. That's 535, basically matching the boss stitch the entire run, save for the end, which made for a nine foot pound difference. But you can call these a wash, we feel. We do three runs as usual and show you the median on screen and these swap places in the process. Now let's see the double swivel. It allows you to use your own high flow fittings, but that double joint right angle action has to cost something we figure. <laughs> 
ouch, 492 is basically 100 foot-pounds down, or more than 16%. This gun was making more than that in its 5-second run in our testing. Let's see if Flexil's high flow design can help close this gap, even at its max angle like the others are. Here's that. Five hundred sixty-five. That's almost close enough to be within the normal variation between runs of the baseline tool. That's less than four percent, making its ugly, bulky body design probably worth it. Speaking of restriction, the M-type models see internal bore sizes of 0.192 and 0.186 for the Merlin, and a huge 0.295 for the Flexilla. The double swivel gets a traditional 0.272 for a Milton V-type and they all have actually very similar intake bores in this case. Now let's see how these two best and worst performers work on our 1894 Thor, the highest scoring, hardest hitting, and most air consuming half inch impact wrench on our rank list. We'll be stepping down its 3 8 inch inlet down to quarter inch NPT with its reducer it comes with as usual. As a reminder, this tool made 751 in its max torque reverse test shown here. Here's the double swivel. Five hundred and ninety-nine, yeesh, a hundred and fifty-two foot-pound loss, or just over twenty percent. Our friend Eric over at South Man Auto likes to use this style of air swivel a lot, and we can understand why with all the benefits. But that would take his impressive Thor impact wrench from the top of our list down to around a PT eight fifty, or really the older Mako gun we're using today, power-wise using this air swivel. Let's see if the Flexilla can save the day on this high-flowing formidable fastener. Six hundred ninety-nine, a cool one hundred foot-pounds up on the double swivel, and around fifty foot-pounds down, or seven percent, from the baseline run of the eighteen ninety-four. In both cases, the air swivel's losses opened up on this higher-flowing gun from sixteen to twenty percent on the double, and four to seven percent on the high-flow flexilla. Sort of makes sense, but does that mean you shouldn't run these? Well, no. Just like in our extensions episode, it's interesting and informative to learn what the losses are when you use these tools, but in many cases, you need to run what you need to run, get the job done. Air swivels provide ease of access, a smaller footprint for your tool, and in many cases, overall comfort from avoiding risk tweaking throughout the day. What the data we saw today does do is offer you a preferred path if you do need a swivel and let you know how much power might be left on the table for you to make an informed decision and maybe let you know how worth it would be to briefly remove that swivel if you came across the bolt that your impact really doesn't want to move. We have plenty more for science videos just like this one planned for you in the future. Subscribe if that sounds like something you want to join us for and click like for the algorithm's sake. Thanks for watching.